right, when you watch today's episode, there's a good chance you'll sit there with your jaw on the floor and think, wow, maybe anything really is possible now, especially in the world of technology. Things that just 10 years ago we only saw on TV and science fiction movies are now showing up in the real world. And yes, we're talking about a car that can fly. Now we've all heard about flying cars for years. Most of the time, they've been nothing more than rumors, flashy concepts, or ideas that never made it past a prototype. But this time, it's different. The Aleph Model A is here, and it's the only flying car that's legally allowed to drive on public roads and take off vertically. The idea is simple, but powerful. Instead of sitting in gridlocked traffic in a major city, you could switch to flight mode, lift straight up, and fly right over the congestion. And let's be honest, when that happens, all eyes are going to be on you. Sounds exciting, right? But it doesn't stop there. The design and performance specs of this flying car are just as fascinating as the concept itself. Of course, flying cars come with serious debates because safety requirements are far higher than for a regular automobile. So the big questions are, how can this thing actually solve urban traffic without putting people at risk? How much does it cost? And how does it really work? Let's get into it. The truth is, the road to a real, practical flying car has been filled with failure. Over the years, hundreds of companies and startups have tried to build one, only to shut down because the challenges and risks were simply too big. A few flying cars have managed to get off the ground, but sightings are rare, mostly because they couldn't meet strict safety and licensing requirements. Even Elon Musk once hinted that Tesla might build a flying car someday, but that never happened. So yes, hearing about a flying car today isn't shocking by itself. What is shocking is hearing about one that's actually licensed and legal to operate. And that's exactly why the Aleph Model A is getting so much attention right now. Yeah, this is no longer science fiction. Flying cars are becoming real, and they could start showing up in much bigger numbers as early as 2026. Aleph Aeronautics is already building more flying cars, right now to deliver to customers. And here's the wild part. It's fully electric. The company even claims their flying car uses less energy than a Tesla or any other electric vehicle. Yeah, that sounds hard to believe. Aleph Aeronautics is an advanced technology company based in San Mateo, California, and they've been working on flying cars for nearly a decade. Their mission is pretty clear. Build sustainable next-generation transportation to tackle the growing traffic problems in major cities. The Aleph Model A is their breakthrough, a flying car that can take off vertically and is legally approved to drive on public roads. This vehicle represents Aleph's vision of cleaner, smarter, urban mobility. By running entirely on electric power instead of a gas engine, it operates more quietly and significantly reduces the environmental impact compared to traditional vehicles. Now let's talk about the design, because this is where things get really interesting. As you can see, the Aleph Model A has a very futuristic look, blending a traditional car with a vertical takeoff aircraft. The body is aerodynamically shaped and roughly the size of a large sedan. It weighs about 850 pounds, which is much lighter than most electric cars today. Even more impressive, the body uses a carbon fiber mesh structure, measuring roughly 5 meters long and 2 meters wide, allowing air to flow through the vehicle itself. That design reduces air resistance during flight, cuts overall weight, and creates space for eight powerful rotors mounted inside the vehicle. These rotors are cleverly hidden within the body, keeping the car safe, clean-looking, and practical for street driving. This layout allows the Model A to take off and land vertically, similar to a multi-rotor aircraft, without any exposed propellers. Inside, the cabin uses a gimbal system, which keeps the passenger compartment level while the rest of the vehicle shifts position during flight. The Aleph flying car is also considered the first in the world to use an Olivon system for aerial control. And as shown in the videos, there are no external rotors, which helps keep the vehicle quieter, safer, and more space efficient, exactly what crowded cities need. One of the standout features of the Aleph Model A is its ability to transition from vertical flight to forward, horizontal flight. To make that happen, the entire body of the vehicle can rotate 90 degrees, changing its direction of movement from straight up to straight ahead. When it rotates, one side of the body becomes the upper wing, and the other side becomes the lower wing. This design allows the vehicle to move freely in three-dimensional space without running into the usual limitations. Okay, still sounds a little confusing, right? Here's an easy way to picture it. Imagine your hand is the Aleph Model A. When you're driving on the road, your hand is stretched out flat, fingers pointing forward. 
but when the car switches to flight mode, you rotate your hand so your thumb is on top. Now your palm is facing the airflow as the vehicle moves forward through the air. That's basically what Aleph is doing. Inside the vehicle, the interior space is carefully optimized for real-world use. It can carry up to two people, and while the cabin isn't large, it's designed to be clean, simple, and comfortable. The passenger compartments are shaped like clear bubble-style windshields, giving occupants an unobstructed view in every direction, something that really matters when you're moving through three-dimensional space instead of just driving down a road. Another interesting design element is the outer shell of the Aleph Model A. The entire exterior is made from a lightweight yet extremely durable material, built to withstand external forces during operation. This structure allows the vehicle to handle minor environmental impacts without compromising flight performance. So how does it work when it's in car mode? Even though flight is the headline feature, it's important to understand the car mode first, because that's the foundation before this thing ever leaves the ground. On the road, the Model A uses four electric drive motors, with one motor mounted at each wheel. This setup lets it operate much like a four-wheel drive electric car, while still functioning as a fully legal everyday road vehicle. Thanks to its four electric motors, one at each wheel, the Model A is designed to deliver a driving experience that feels similar to a regular electric car when it's on the road. The vehicle uses four very slim wheels, almost like bicycle tires, which helps keep the overall weight down. With a driving range of about 200 miles and a top speed of roughly 25 miles per hour, it's clearly built for short to medium trips in urban environments. Even though this is a car that can fly, when it's operating in standard driving mode, the ALEF Model A still comes equipped with essential road safety features to protect both the driver and the passenger. The braking system is responsive and effective, allowing the vehicle to slow down smoothly and safely in different situations. Sensors placed around the vehicle help detect obstacles, making it easier for the driver to avoid unnecessary accidents. On top of that, the vehicle's stability system is designed to reduce vibration and maintain balance on uneven roads. This is especially important for a flying car, because when it's driving like a normal vehicle, it still needs to stay planted and stable, avoiding tipping or loss of control. The main downside in driving mode is comfort. Since the interior is optimized for two passengers, it doesn't offer the space you'd get from a typical four- or five-seat car. The good news is that the Aleph Model A is still compatible with existing city parking systems and road infrastructure, and it only requires a basic drone pilot license to operate in flight mode. So what do you think about the driving mode of the Aleph flying car? Do you have any questions or concerns? Drop them in the comments below. All right, now let's talk about flight mode. Earlier this year, we got our first real preview of the fully electric flying car in action. Aleph released a video showing the vehicle lifting off and hopping over another car on a public street in California. Another video shows it taking off vertically, climbing to about 20 to 30 feet, and then moving forward, almost like a flying saucer, hovering above a parked Chevy Suburban. At first glance, it honestly looks like one of those AI-generated fake videos you see online. But Aleph says this is the first video in history of a real car driving on a road and then taking off vertically. Other flying cars have shown up in videos before, but those flights were often tethered, staged, or used visual tricks to make it look like the vehicle was actually flying. Yeah, and when it's time to leave the ground, a system of powerful rotors surrounding the passenger seat lifts the vehicle straight up. The mesh-style body allows air to flow through the structure, helping generate lift while also keeping the overall weight down. According to the company, the Model A can take off vertically without a runway, and it doesn't need a special landing zone like a helipad. And that's a big deal. As you know, most aircraft need a long runway to get airborne. What's surprising here is that this vehicle can lift off directly from the ground with no external assistance at all. That capability comes from eight rotors mounted inside the body, four on each side. Together, they generate enough lift to raise the vehicle straight up without any trouble. This matters especially in urban environments, where space is limited and there's no room for traditional airports. With vertical takeoff and landing, the Aleph Model A could operate in dense city centers without needing dedicated takeoff or landing infrastructure. In flight mode, the claimed top speed is about 110 miles per hour, with a flight range of roughly 110 miles. That tells us the Model A is designed for short regional hops 
not long cross-country trips. Jim Duchovny, one of the company's founders, says the vehicle could cut your commute time in half by simply flying over traffic instead of sitting in it. From a safety and engineering standpoint, the Model A uses distributed electric propulsion, meaning its electric systems are split across multiple components to reduce the risk of total failure. The vehicle includes up to eight layers of redundancy for critical systems, along with real-time monitoring across thousands of diagnostic points. It also features obstacle detection, automatic collision avoidance, a glide landing mode, and even a full vehicle parachute system designed for emergency situations. In short, this isn't just about flying, it's about doing it safely, intelligently, and realistically, especially in the places where traffic is worst. According to the company's chief technology officer and co-founder, the flying car currently has a payload capacity of about 200 pounds, and that includes both the passenger and any luggage. Okay, let's be honest, that's a fairly low payload. The CEO has acknowledged this as well, saying that most early versions are designed for single occupant use. That said, the company is already working on a two-seat design which would effectively double the payload capacity. Because the vehicle is classified as an ultralight aircraft, it does not require full FAA certification to fly under current regulations. However, there are still important limitations. Flights are restricted to daytime only, and the vehicle cannot fly over densely populated areas or city centers. Aleph has received a special airworthiness certificate from the FAA, allowing limited testing. The company also says it will broadcast warnings to other aircraft whenever its car plane is operating on the ground or in the air. Under the agreement, traditional aircraft always have priority, meaning Aleph. Vehicles must yield whenever necessary. Aleph opened pre-orders for the Model A back in 2022, and so far more than 3,300 reservations have been placed. Buyers can put down a $150 refundable deposit to join the standard waitlist, or $1,500 for priority access. The expected price for each vehicle is around $300,000. Aleph plans to begin production later this year, with the first prototype deliveries expected next year. That timeline, however, depends heavily on manufacturing progress, real-world testing, and regulatory approvals. Looking further ahead, the company is also exploring a hydrogen fuel cell version of its flying car. According to Oleg Petrov, another co-founder and engineer, this future model, called the Model Z, would have a much longer range of up to 400 miles and could carry four to six passengers. The projected price is around $35,000, but there's a catch. It's not expected to launch until around 2035. Last year, Aleph also signed mass production agreements for high-quality aerospace components with Pucara Aero and MYC, suppliers that already work with major players like Boeing and Airbus. That's a significant step toward scaling up production. At this point, Aleph is actively turning flying cars from imagination into reality. With new airport agreements and early FAA approvals in place, the company now has a clear path to test what's actually possible. Regulations still limit when and where these vehicles can fly, but progress is moving steadily. If production stays on track, we may soon see the world's first flying cars lifting off alongside everyday traffic. That said, even with all this potential, flying cars like the Aleph Model A still face major challenges. To truly become part of the global transportation system, they'll need to overcome not just technical and design hurdles, but also serious regulatory and legal barriers. The idea is real, but the road ahead is still long. Okay, one of the biggest challenges with flying cars is safety during real-world operation. Even though these vehicles can take off and land vertically, they still have to deal with environmental factors that can seriously affect control and stability. Strong winds, bad weather, or sudden emergency situations can make it difficult for a pilot or driver to manage the vehicle, especially when it's flying at low altitude over crowded urban areas. To address this, manufacturers need to develop advanced automated flight controls, pilot assist systems, and safety features like object detection and collision avoidance, so the vehicle can react faster than a human ever could. But flying cars aren't just facing technical challenges, they also run straight into strict regulatory barriers. Today's transportation system is already tightly regulated, from driving rules and insurance requirements to licensing. Introducing flying cars means governments would have to rethink the entire legal framework to keep both people and property safe. 
That includes new laws for personal flight licenses, certification standards, and even dedicated low-altitude airspace where flying cars can operate without interfering with helicopters, airplanes, or drones. Then there's the cost. Right now, flying cars are still very expensive to build. While advances in technology may bring prices down over time, today, these vehicles are mostly affordable only to high-income buyers. That limits how widely they can be adopted. If flying cars are ever going to become mainstream, manufacturers will need to design more cost-efficient models, along with financing options, leasing programs, and partnerships that make them more accessible to everyday consumers. Alongside Aleph Aeronautics, another company getting a lot of attention in the flying car space is Klein Vision, with its standout product called the Aircar. Based in Slovakia, Klein Vision has developed a vehicle that can physically transform from a road car into an aircraft, combining ground transportation with real aviation capability. The aircar can switch from car mode to aircraft mode in about three minutes, thanks to a retractable wing system that folds and deploys as needed. On the road, it drives like a regular car, reaching speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. Once airborne, it operates as a true airplane, with a top flight speed of around 170 miles per hour. The aircar has a range of about 370 miles, making it possible to travel quickly between cities without dealing with traffic congestion. Because it flies like a real aircraft, the aircar can reach altitudes of up to 8,200 feet and is designed to operate safely in normal weather conditions. It uses a gasoline-powered engine combined with a propeller system to generate lift, and switching between driving and flying modes is designed to be simple and straightforward. What really sets the air car apart is how fast it can transform from a car into an airplane, just a few minutes. When it's time to fly, the driver deploys the wings from the body of the vehicle, and the air car is ready for takeoff. To use it, you only need a standard driver's license for road mode, and a basic civilian pilot license for flight mode. That makes the air car far more approachable and realistic for a wider range of users than many people might expect. On the safety side, the air car is equipped with advanced collision detection and avoidance systems, designed to keep occupants safe in both driving and flying modes. It also features automated monitoring systems that continuously check critical flight parameters and help the pilot maintain stability throughout the journey. These systems are especially important for reducing risk particularly when operating in or near urban areas. In short, both Aleph Aeronautics and Klein Vision are leading the charge in developing flying cars and pushing transportation into an entirely new era. While both companies still face major challenges, regulations, cost, and safety among them, the progress they're making could fundamentally change how we move in the future, opening up enormous potential for the flying car industry. So let me ask you this, what would you do if you could travel in a flying car? And do you think flying cars, will become a common sight in our cities within the next 10 years. Thanks for tuning in. The future of transportation is closer than many of us realize, and it's exciting to see where these innovations are headed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on this groundbreaking technology.